Since 2008, Oxford University Transit has been a key factor in reducing the use of fossil fuels in the city of Oxford. Today, not enough people are riding the bus. How do we maintain a pedestrian environment? How do we encourage pedestrian traffic, bicycle traffic, ridership on the buses? How do we get um, everybody, including students by the way, out of automobiles? One way that the bus system is trying to increase ridership is by making riding easier. A GPS system powered by solar panels will be installed in December that will tell riders exactly when their bus will arrive. Smartphone applications will be developed to increase convenience. We want to be able to try to serve as much of the city of Oxford as possible. We're trying to enhance the system through uh, upgrades and we're working on several right now. One, of course, is the new GPS system that's going to be that's being installed on the buses now that will tell you in real time where the buses are, when they're coming to your stop. In early November, the city held a conference on sustainable design to discuss several problems in the community, including bus ridership. A team of architects, preservationists, and other specialists worked to provide eco-friendly, sustainable solutions to these problems. So the main comment that we've heard over the last few days about the bus system is that it currently um, does a great job of serving student neighborhoods, but there are probably other neighborhoods around town that could benefit from that transit service um, that currently don't get it. Um, so that would be, you know, a suggestion as the, the bus system has been very successful uh, to build on that success and uh, broaden its reach and test out other neighborhoods to see if, if uh, they might also have some folks who would, who would like to ride the bus.